Manufacturing is the heart of our physical world. So this sector becomes kind of the heart and the foundation of the, what civilization literally will look like. Every one of the solutions that faces our global challenges, those answers are a manufacturing answer. It is my great pleasure to be able to welcome you here to Exponential Manufacturing. What we're going to try to do over this conference is help you understand kind of how to think exponentially and hopefully give you a lot of examples of where this technology is going. Consider this event the place that you come to to get a sense of what is going from deceptive to disruptive in the manufacturing field right now. This technology can cause more change and different ways of doing things. It's not just incremental. And once you take your mind out of just doing things incrementally, you can do amazing things and do it in amazingly different ways. So it starts for us in design. Everything starts digitally on a computer designing it. The digital information is sent to space and we print it out. I think it's a really bright time in exponential manufacturing because there are so many new ways to approach the entire field. Technology is going to advance so fast that probably more will be invented in the next five years than in the history of mankind. No matter who you are, you know, the CEO of a Fortune 100 company, your first you know, knee-jerk reaction when you, when you get inspired by and, and uh, enlightened by this type of knowledge and information associated with these exponential trends, when you fully comprehend it, you realize, I, I can do something really good with this, and the world can do something really good with this. And I think that's uh, a really good place to be, and I think that's a good group think to start to have communities and crowds like this to start to, to play into. I donated 50 3D printers to schools in Estonia, but not only 3D printers, but also the whole curriculum and really trying to figure out how can you build a community around teaching and learning STEM. I'm so thrilled to be here. You can just feel the energy. What I like about it the most is it's at the practitioner level typically here. Uh, as opposed to the theoretical. Everyone's just excited to learn and to be part of something that's new. So I gotta say, I think this is our best innovation lab to date. Uh, we have really a great, great group of companies in there and everything from kind of, you know, big companies demoing some of their latest wares, Deloitte and Cat, to early stage companies that are doing some incredible things with augmented reality and focusing on the maker movement. So really cool. People are fired up. What's not to be optimistic about? We're moving faster towards our goals and we're becoming ever more collaborative in that endeavor. So it's extremely invigorating. It's about how do you go out there and, and take this understanding and these insights and take your company in a positive direction, take the world in a positive direction. The feedback we've gotten is the event was life changing. Not just that it gave me new ideas, but it was life changing. It changed the way I think about my life and. Uh, the life of everyone else. It turned out that the students are the best teachers and, and they're great in curriculum. So I'm, I'm, I'm building now a young community in one country that are passionate about STEM. That creates an environment where we're going to see sort of unparalleled innovation. And that's really exciting to be a part of. So we think we'll see that kind of a rich outcome where people realize how to think about the world going forward and then again take it back to their organizations or their communities and then implement this new way of thinking. That's a very different and very exciting business world. And I'm looking forward to being part of it. Thank you very much.